Greetings, humanity. Uh, I'm Jim, and uh, I'm playing Planet Base. Or attempting to! We'll see if it actually happens. We'll see what actually happens. Uh, <laughs> I, I have no idea. I have no idea. <sighs> I've, uh, I have returned to Planet Base because I, uh, I decided I wanted to keep going. And so, heaven's help me, we're going to, at least for a little bit longer. We'll see how this, uh, how this goes. There were some settings in here I was curious about. Maybe it wasn't these settings. I don't know what the Freeman Chronicles are. What does it mean? What are the Freeman Chronicles? Solitude. For, for years, Aristarchus Freeman was a top engineer at Planet Base Corp, Corp, but eventually he couldn't take the stress anymore and decided to start his own operation. He bought a few second hand bots on the black market and headed for the Tinto planet, a resource rich but dangerous, a resource rich but dangerous iron ball at the edge of the galaxy. His plan was to make a living on his own by mining the planet and buying all other resources from the traders that occasionally travel the area. And lightning rods don't need to be repaired with spare. Okay, well it says challenging, so it's it's beyond it's beyond my current level. But uh, I'm guessing this is uh, this is some sort of additional DLC or something they threw in, um, with its own little objective of using the same interface. Get 15 bots, build four mines, one large storage, storage one starport, two bot auto repairs. Okay, yeah, interesting. Okay. Right now, our objective, it says, is to accumulate 100 units of ore. Ah, okay. I did not even know that that was our... <laughs> I did not know that was why we were here. Uh, establish a fully automated mining outpost in a remote world. You'll have to accomplish your mission with limited personnel, and as you won't be getting any more colonists, some traders operate in the area, so you might be able to buy supplies from them. Accumulate 100 units of ore. I guess that's what we're doing. Unless, well, is that what we're doing? Or are we just, uh... No, you have to click OK to start doing one of these. I understand now. We're not doing either of these things. We don't have objectives. We're just trying to continue. We're just trying to play the, the, the base game here. OK, I understand now. I am not... You'll have to forgive me. I, I, I am old and not as, uh, as quickly familiar with the... Uh, <laughs> as quick to catch on to some of these things. We have thus far our Planetary Apprentice. We can finish the tutorial. And Link to the Future, which we built two structures and connected them. And then there's many more things that we can get. We got Desert Landing. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll just keep going now. I think we're good. All the important commands of keyboard, 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 keyboard shortcuts, you can use them to manage your colony more efficiently. Nah! Okay. So... What is next? I'm trying to remember what's next. Uh, we should be tapping into this. I, I remember I, I was looking at some things. Telescope in console. Do we do we now see things? Can, can we use the telescope or is it just going to warn us when there are things happening? Do we know? Might be nice to have an anti-meteor laser. You know, I actually, there was something I was curious about. 
Signpost. Exterior structure that shows information about the colony increases prestige. Okay. Don't know if we're ready for that yet. We'll figure it out. Um, we have right now 40% da disaster prediction chance. Which, you know, I'd like... I'd like it to be better than that, but... Alright. What are you folks doing? Oh, I see. You're making things. I should set a limit on this because this is going to eat up our resources um how do i do that great question how do i set a, a set limits i need to set limits i need to manage what we're doing manufacturing limits here we go um guns we're going to make three guns, and right now we're going to make... Well, we have to make three semiconductors to make three guns. Damn it! Okay. <clears throat> going to use up what we have. More colonists? We, we, we're, we need to turn off the, the welcome sign. We need to turn over the welcome mat. What do we have? A guard and a guard. That's a lot of guards. I think we're good for guards. Thank you for joining us. I think we're good for guards for now. We have like five of them. Um, and uh, we need we need more workers. Probably. We need more medics. I don't know how many medics we need, really. But this feels about right, I think. I'm not completely sure. Not all machines are operating simultaneously right now. Um, that's kind of where we are with this. Okay. So, things we we are getting we are replacing our resources faster now that we have these machines or two of each of these operating. So that's good. What's happening? Oh, there's the, there's no one sitting at the uh, sitting at there at the command center. I guess I'd need more of these consoles to uh, for this to get above forty percent. I'm assuming that's what would be necessary. Um, let's not worry about that right now, however. We got to figure something. You doing okay? Uh, worker got hurt. Okay. So what do we need? We need uh, we we want to be able to build our own robots, I think. We set our limits here. Um, this is set up as best it can be. The power grid is how is that looking? Uh, it's dropping. It's not uh, you know our storage is dropping, but it's nighttime. That's to be expected. This isn't horrible. Um, we might want to add more power structures soon. Um, I don't think we are there yet. Let us figure out external buildings. Oh, there's the anti-meteor laser. Um, radio antenna, starport. I'm not ready for the starport. Wait. It's a trading ship. Yeah, do we need... Let's, uh, let's cut off the colonists for now, actually. Because I'm a little worried. What do you have? Do we have more resources? Maybe. We need to produce more medical supplies. Those are valuable. You've got some robots. A freelance electronics trader. Darwin Volta! Another carrier bot, or a constructor bot. Now, we're reaching a point where we're going to be able to do these things ourselves. I kind of want to, uh, I kind of want to hold off on any more of those. We're, we're about to be swimming in carrier bots if we, if we get this right. If we get this right. Um... 
So we'll see kind of how this goes. Uh, I'm going to dismiss Darwin Volta for now. Yes. Well, yeah, driller bots would help, I think. We'll see. Thank you, thank you. Uh, not, not now. Um, I'm still figuring out what I want to do here. Processing plant factory, multi dome, robotics factory. We want the robotics factory, obviously. Um. We can afford to build it. I guess we can put it right there. Is that a good idea? Uh, might be better to put it over here somewhere. Of course, now that won't be in reach of much. Storage actually probably would do better over there. I don't know. We've got we've got some options. Um. Actually, you know what? I am gonna put it here. There's a reason. Because this is where we're making the chips. Semiconductors. So that'll work for that, hopefully. Getting more constructor bots would be great. Um, I would like, however, to make more uh, to make more of these. Frankly, we only have. Well, I don't think we have any leaves right now. I think we must have turned them into uh, that kind of supply. Um, let me check on the landing pad. How are we for peoples? Hmm. Depends on what you compare things to, I guess. Um, what am I looking for? I got lost. Wanted to see the chart. Wanted to see how we're doing. I mean... Eh? Robotics facility has been built. Uh, I mean, we've got plenty of oxygen for people. It's just a question of if we have enough food and resources. This is looking very promising. I mean, we're getting a lot of vegetables and meat now. Stockpiled, so that's helpful. Uh, so we might actually... Eh, that's the thing we might do. We might be able to have more people, is what I'm saying. Um, so, bots can get automatically repaired here. That would be great. Bot workshop. An engineer can build box bots here. We're going to start with the workshop. And then we'll see how it goes. We have for some time just making meals right and left, yet we still only have seven of them. We're gonna probably need duplicate things soon. Um, how are people doing? How are they feeling? I mean, it looks like people are doing okay and they don't need more than the facilities we currently have, it seems. No one is terribly unhappy. People do seem to get idle from time to time. So we might want to give them some things to do. Bot Workshop has been built. This is good. So, right now it's set to make carrier bots. Which, let's, uh, now having to use this control panel. 
Um, but we'll make one when we have the opportunity. How many of these are we making at a time? I don't know. How many carrier bots do we currently have? We have five driller bots. Uh, we have five bots total. We have four carrier bots and one constructor bot. I'd love to learn how to make constructor bots. There hopefully will be a trader landing at some point who will teach us how to do that. 95% storage. Either we need to use more of these things or we need to start selling more things. We'll see. Uh, it is being made. It is happening. The, uh, the medkits are being made. What I am going to check, however, is, um, there is something I am curious about. How are we power-wise? We seem to be doing okay. It is, oh, it's very slowly during the day. It, that's interesting. We are hitting a point with the power. Now, where it's just barely reaching where it needs to go during the day. So, we might want to increase before we build anything else. We might want to increase what we have, because, I mean, this stuff gets struck by a single meteor, and then we're, we're screwed. Do we need more engineers? Are these beds full? We have 22 people. We might need more beds. You're not tired, you were just going there for no apparent reason. Do we need more beds? Running out of room for beds. How you doing? Not doing great? Okay. We'll figure this out. How many guns do we have now? Is there a way to tell? Does it show up like a resource like these others do? I mean, setting. I think it was the right decision to set this to, to priority, uh, to a priority, and it's just going to keep going, which is kind of the point. Um, let us see. Maybe we need. Maybe we need more engineers to be able to do this. Okay. Here's what I think. Perhaps we need to do. Just build another bunk. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna up our engineers here. I have no idea how many guards we have currently. So we'll do that for now. We'll see how that goes. What do we currently, um, what's our current roster looking like? We have 10 workers. We have five biologists, we have four engineers, two medics, five guards. Yeah, having, uh, we have more than enough guards right now, <laughs> right now. Um, 
More engineers, I think, would be helpful. We have a decent number of workers. I guess it would be nice to have more medics. But we can have someone constantly working on this. Setting up med supplies. You know. You know. And they're just working on that again. Okay. Well, see how that goes. This is another trading ship. Okay. We'll see what they have. This is J.D. Robbins, freelance medical trader. I feel like the main reason I'm trying to get more medical stock is just to, uh, to, to trade away. Medicinal plants might be interesting, though. What do we have right now in the way of... Uh, what do we have right now for that? Um, none. We only have the one thing making it, right? I mean, they're making them, it's just not happening very fast. We might try to get more of these. 50% commission, that's a lot. I feel like I shouldn't try to get too many of these. And I feel like trading the... Trading medical supplies for medicinal plants feels like folly. Spares, on the other hand, is a thing we can do. That's going to be just an even swap. Just get two more. Yeah. Maybe one more there. There we go. Um, yeah, that feels good. Did, did we make the trade? Okay, we did. I didn't hear it click properly when I clicked on it. Okay. So, that being said... Oh, you know what? I need to check on something. I need to make sure that, uh... I need to make sure that I... I did a thing correctly. Let me do it over here. Because there is a, um... You ever start doing something, then completely forget what it was you were doing? Yeah, that's, that's trying to happen right now. I don't... Hmm. Okay, well, that's left my brain. Uh, maybe I'll... Maybe it'll come back to me. I hope it does. Oh, I guess we'll see. There was something I was trying to check on. And for some reason, I thought I had to go and uh, go to go to Twitter to do that, and it's out of it's gone from my brain. I don't love ADHD. Okay. Well, back to this then for a minute, whilst we figure out what we're doing. Um, what are we doing? We're getting we're trading. Okay, good. I feel like that was something important. All right. Ah, great. Fabulous. Fabulous. Uh, do I want to go ahead and build a rec room? Well, probably do something with the power first before I do that. Because what other rooms do we have now we need to think about? Um, we have this... We have this robotics laboratory. Seems to continue making... How many of these have we made? Is there any way to find out how many guns that we have made? Is there? 
That is a guard. Zero guns, it says. There's one sitting in here. Why does it say zero gun? Is it, is it continuously making guns? What is happening? I am very confused. I think there's something very basic I'm misunderstanding about how these machines work. So, uh, I think in order to fix that misapprehension, I will look at this. There's... There's something up there. Manufacturing limits panel allows you to specify the maximum number of units for the ver for various manufactured goods. After you hit the limit, no more of that item will be produced. This is the gun making machine. I feel as though it has made multiple guns. Now the semiconductor machine, the semiconductor foundry has stopped. The arms workshop has not. Guns are weapons that are used mainly by guards to fend off intruders, or defend of intruders. They can be produced at the arms workshop. When a gun is produced, any unarmed guards will automatically pick it up and become armed. If there are no unarmed guards, then the gun will be stored in an army or storage. In an armory. In an army. In an armory or storage. Regular colonists will also pick up a gun and use it against intruders if the base is on red alert. Okay. And the armory is the thing we can put in the in here. That's fine. We can put an armory in that. How can I tell if a guard is armed? As it's not this one doesn't appear to be. That one is, okay. This one is not. We should only have That one is not. I have to like Point to each guard to figure out whether they're armed or not. Is that how this works? Just sort of leaving medical supplies out here. Are we are we full? Is that what's happening? Do we need more storage? I think we need more storage, probably. You are also not armed. I think it's just a slow process, I guess. Because we only have one guard that's... I thought it had hit 100%, and then suddenly it didn't. I don't know what happened. You're armed. How can I... How can I tell who's armed? I can't click on you when you're at control panel. Hmm. Alright, uh, there's more specific information I need here that the uh, the hints are not giving me here. We're going to do the, the unthinkable and check the internet. Would be nice. I buy them, I have a locker for them in my command center, but they just vanish. Are they being taken by guards? Cannot store any spares until your guards are armed. 
It would be nice to have a way to view how many of your guards are armed. You can only click on them individually and only then if they are not doing some activity. It makes it virtually impossible to track all the guards and see how many more guns are needed to arm them. That was in 2015. <laughs> and that comment was left. And at base wiki, a gun is a resource that needs to be held in your yards. Um, how can how can you tell? Pay attention to your reputation level. When he gets to 100 or so, the gunman will show up. Okay, that's good to know. Not what I was looking for. Right, so there's apparently no way to tell. That's that's great. That's great. Okay. Sure, let's save the game for no reason. Um, all right, I'm just going to start doing stuff. I think we need. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get another thing to, for power because we will need it in a moment. I'm gonna make a big one because we can suddenly afford it. I think. Or well, it, it'll be helpful. That's gonna use. A lot of steel. We have more colonists coming now. I am a fool. Okay, wait, let's see who we have. We have an engineer and a worker. Cool. And medicinal plants hanging out there because we don't have st enough storage for them. Let's, uh, let's figure that out soon. They're making more semiconductors, which I presume just immediately become guns. One guard has, has a gun. One, that guard does not. This guard, I couldn't tell you. That guard does not. That's a worker. Three of the guards are headed to bed. At least you can click on them in the beds. There's a worker out here. Bringing the material out. I went with an additional windmill because I felt it was time. How is this doing? It's doing well. Okay. Get back to this. Okay. Where am I? I, I lost track of where I was. Okay. There we go. Wind turbine has been built. Excellent. Good. Okay. This is our, uh, this is our worker bot. This is our builder bot. Okay. Now, how is our power doing? Even at, at it, it's nighttime, but I will check the grid. Ha ha! Okay. That's more than we, we possibly will need right now. Which is good because that means I can build more structures and it won't be too great a burden. We're just plugging away, making more semiconductors. I just kind of need to know what's going to happen when this turns into it. Well, so something that's kind of odd is that, like, when it's done making a gun, does someone come and get it? That's going to be sitting there for a while at 92%. We need a few more things. We need more storage, for one thing.
Because, I mean, look. Look. Very few other places we can put things. I don't know if we're going to be able to move things out here, but that's going to be going to be a lot. Okay. There. There. You can stop leaving things lying around. Do we need to produce more food? It seems like we're doing okay. We only seem to ever have seven meals at a time. Um, we've been making a lot of chicken over here. Should we create a variety of meats? Is that, uh, is that helpful? I have both chicken and beef. Did I create a separate machine to create the beef? Will it matter? I think that's an important question. Oh boy! Hello. Uh, we got two more workers. Okay, good, good. Um... And there is this whole question of who's doing what. I mean, yeah, we're, we still don't have every machine operating constantly, so I mean, that's something. Um, I want there to be more medical kits. Maybe I should make another workbench. That's a thought. That's not there yet. We'll be soon. Oh. Dude, I almost made it. Almost. Not quite. We are down to only a couple of uh, bits of metal. So. I need to hang back. What you doing? You're idle. That medic is idle. Okay. Structures are low on oxygen. Okay, we may need to fix that then. Um, we, we need oxygen. It's good for us. Um, yes, let me actually... 30 people in the base. Let me prevent more colonists from turning up. What's the deal with the oxygen situation? Oxygen's going down. Why is that? Oxygen 22%. Do we just need another of these? Do we need another oxygen generator? Is that what's happening here? We can do that. I just need to figure out... What am I looking at? Water storage also is... dwindling. Uh. Our grid's doing great. What's happening? We need to do something about that. What? I can't say. But we also can't... Oh! 
How far were we on the... Okay, I'm gonna do something. Because I feel as though there's an issue here. I feel as though there's some kind of an issue here. We have a bot workshop and we haven't made any bots. What the heck? I think we should, uh, let us shut this down. Or let me, uh, let me try to do it through here. Zero guns. Did that change anything, or am I just... Are these Fisher-Price controls that I'm looking at here? Do they actually do anything? <laughs> Because I, I'm wondering if these controls just mean that they, these things are made one at a time. Because they already are. You don't have a gun. Where are, where, where are our guards? Here. One help me out here. Alright. You have a gun. Emma, so Emma has a gun. I think that's a different person than the one who had a gun before. I only asked them to make three of them. El doesn't. Edgardo does. Edgardo. We've accounted for what? Four of them? And we have how many? Five? Denise does not. How many guards do we have? Again, I thought we had five. Two of them are armed. Okay, thank you. There we go. That I can actually. That there we go. So they were working on their third gun. I would assume. They're still working on the third gun, so I guess it just sort of stops at a certain point. And this is stopped at. They're still making more of these? This is where it is getting weird. And I don't quite understand what's happening. Now, is this machine proceeding because it, it went, they had started anyway? Is that what's happening? Possibly. You're thirsty, you're thirsty. We might need another water fountain. Someone said we were getting low on oxygen earlier. Could that be something that we're worried about? Do we need oxygen to survive? Is that helpful? Water storage is back up. I'm not sure where, every, where everything is landing here. But I am wondering if we need a second, uh, if we need a second water fountain. Because I am seeing people getting thirsty. I'm not completely sure how all this is going. Okay, you're going to get a gun. From where? It says we have one. Did they finish making it? You now have a gun. This is no longer doing it. Okay, I guess they finished it and they moved it over there. Alright. And they're somehow making yet another semiconductor when it... I'm confused. I guess we'll find out what's happening. I'm not completely certain how all of this works. 
These are people who are thirsty. Let's make another uh, water fountain if we can. Put it wherever we like. Do we, do we space it out? I'll put it there. Although, that is going to use bioplastic. Mine's not getting tapped out, is it? Also, hmm, how is our starch doing? Do we need more starch? Is that part of our problem? Well, we're finally using this this storage unit. I'm going to switch to beef. different dietary restrictions, of course. Additional plants. Do I need to uh, put more starchy things in here? Is that where we are? Maybe. We need more bioplastic. I see they're working on it. Starch is happening slowly. It might behoove us to, uh, to get more starch bearing things. It very well might. This is a trader. It would have to be. They're the only kinds of ships we're allowing to land right now. Okay, what you got? Medical trader again. What's your uh, what's your take? Thirty five percent's not bad. Um, we're okay on medicinal plants, I think, right now, for what we're doing. Um, yeah, honestly, I mean, we have a lot we're doing here. Um, These I bet are worth a lot. Do we want? I mean, why not? May as well take advantage while we're here. I forgot to swap out for more coin last to get more coin from the last one. Um, yeah, I think we'd be good with that. Yes? Yes? Sure. I mean, never a bad idea. Okay. And there are always things we need more of. That's the tricky part. Okay, so this is stopped as well. Which is probably just as well. Um, that worker is standing idle. 
They're not unhappy. They're just not all working at the same time, necessarily. A little unusual. What is our situation? Let me look at uh, let me look at this. We now have three armed guards. They left some. Uh, they left some plants. Ultimately, I want to get to the point that we can build robots. We we have the we have the factory for it. We just need uh, apparently more metal and bioplastic. <laughs> We seem to be getting let down on the bioplastic front. I guess spend bioplastic to, get, to make bioplastic. Do we not have enough biologists anymore? Is that what we need to focus on next? Starchy things that happen quickly. Put in for more rice. Because we now have one of everything in here. I could put another medicinal pad down. Maybe. But again, I have to remember, I probably only add one thing right now. I am thinking of adding more rice. I'm thinking that is what we shall do. We have only two spots open here. We must be careful. Let us do that. And hopefully, in the long run, that will mean that we can actually, you know, acquire more starch, acquire more plastic. Because this is really what this is all about. We need more bioplastic. Three, two, total six. I guess how many are getting committed? None is being made right now. Rice pad has been built. How are we for biologists? We have five biologists. That's enough to handle ten pads. We have eleven. Actually enough to handle a minimum of, of, of ten pads and a maximum of fifteen, I should say. I mean, we should have a good balance of biologists to material. It's only working when a biologist is operating it. I suspect. Grow faster! Try to, try to will it to grow faster. So if we were to build another oxygen center, that would be a terrible mistake. Okay. Yeah. We could conceivably build in this direction through this narrow gap. Build more out here. If it comes down to it. We'll have to see how that goes. Or we can move a bunch of stuff that's over here. And by move, I mean recycle. <laughs> You get to see this working. Oh yeah! Look at that. It is operating. Okay. 
A lot of this is starting to feel very much the same to me. So that is the thing I need to think about. It's also a little frustrating that we just are starting to... It's like we're, we're getting a decent uh, uh, level of metal in, and but now we're getting uh, our bioplastic levels are just kind of not surging in the way I would like them to. I am not completely sure how to tackle that. Where are you taking that? The spares workshop. Why are you taking it to the spares workshop? What happens there? What are you doing? What are you making? You're making spares. That's why it's committed. I understand now. Okay. Right. Maybe we can get hit. Um. How many spares do we have currently? Eleven. I mean, it's not a terrible amount to have. I mean, we need to keep making spares anyway because at least we can trade them. But uh, we're getting getting higher up on medical supplies. That's good. Um. Mm, I just feel like there's there's not a lot of wind right now, obviously. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like either. Either there is something, either maybe we don't have enough manpower or we're not covering enough. I don't know. I'm gonna cease production on spares for right now. Because clearly, that is not where we need to be right now. We have not made even a single additional carrier bot. It just needs a semiconductor to go in there. Okay, that spare has been made. And should not be making any more. Oh, and you know what? Okay, bioplastic also goes into creating these. That explains a great deal. Hi. What you got? Oh, wow, okay. Freelance general trader. You have a lot of things. You have a carrier bot. You have a constructor bot. I'm having thoughts. You have a massive storage patent. Joaquin Ray. It would be nice. Um, is that that one robot trader that came by? We could have picked up a drill bot, but we did not. We couldn't have afforded the drill bot. Uh, it was at the time. It was 160. We might be able to afford the, this other constructor bot now, if we really wanted. I don't know though. And then what about the semiconductor? <laughs> the only way to make robots and guns. Good lord. 
So much goes into this now. 50% commission. Now oh, you're killing me here. Do we want another constructor bot? I think we're building things slowly enough that uh, <laughs> it's not going to matter right now. Um, you know. We have some bioplastic, please. I, I'll, I'll, I'm not gonna lie, I'm desperate enough at this point. Alcoholic drinks. What do those do? Let me actually find out what those do. Um, out of curiosity. I'm desperate enough. Let's have some of your bioplastic. Um, That gives us that. Massive storage patent. One of the few patents. You're not going to see that patent again for some time. Yes, but I'd have to give them everything to get it. And I, I don't really feel as though I need it at the moment. Kind of the problem. There's just so much. All right. More coins. Yeah, we'll do that. I keep thinking about getting another constructor bot, but then part of me also is like, no, you must wait for the patent. Hold out for the patent. If you ever have enough accumulated to get one. All right. You've traded. I'm just sort of sitting here trying to produce things, and it's maddening. The sheer amount of stuff not getting produced. A robot sitting there not being made. They, they just really need a semiconductor to go in there. We should have one of those. And yet. Huh. Let me see if I can make that happen at least. Let me check to see if I turned that off. No, we had that on. One carrier bot. Nothing happened. We have a semiconductor. Let me go ahead and, uh... Well... I will wait and see... <clears throat> I will wait and see what we do with this. That semiconductor. And then, if nothing happens with that semiconductor... <laughs> I shall be disappointed. We have, like, one of each of these things in here. I could use the repair, but the repair facility, but I'd have to make more semiconductors. Wait, where are you taking that? Let me click on you. Where are you taking that? Storage! I don't believe you. I do not believe you. Okay. Let me try something. 
Zero. One. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. Did you take it to storage? I don't know. Oh no! Okay. Well, I guess maybe we should have bought that constructor bot. <laughs> oh my god. Our constructor bot has just been damaged irreversibly. This is starting to feel painful. Okay. Well. So much for that. We have to rely entirely on engineers now until... Someone else lands and we can buy one off of them because apparently we can't build our own because we have to wait for the patent on that. This is maddening. Where is it? Should we... It, it, is it, did it just vanish? Is it dead? I don't understand what happened to it. Did it get hit by a meteor? What are you doing? Oh, you're having a meal. On the floor. There's the space at the table. Oh, not anymore, I guess. <sighs> Jeez, this is very wearying. This is very wearying indeed. I do not know what to make of it. I do not. Gotta sit here waiting to get lucky. This, this additional carrier bot will never be built. Because it has to actually decide that it's the, the semiconductor is right there. We can put it in this machine. Should I prioritize this? Will it matter? I don't know. There. See if that does anything. Not that I think the... Uh... Not that I think it's going to be a replacement for anything, but... You need, you need one semiconductor to make this bot. <sighs> Man, disappointment. I'm just going to start building more rooms out of boredom. I think that's where we're headed at this point. Saved the game. That's nice. Of course, we have to wait for the engineers to free up before we can actually do it. I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm going to make a rec room. I don't care, I'm just making one. We just sort of reached that point where...
sadness. Sadness and despair. Okay. Oh boy. I don't know if I need to look at a strategy guide for this or what. I'm just starting to... Starting to tilt a bit here. Oh, that's right. The engineer has to come out and build it. Build it himself. Sorry, Enzo. We lost our constructor bot. Build more if I knew how. Gotta wait for the patent. That's how it works, right? The, uh, the appropriate techs from traders. Techs allow you to build certain buildings, manufacture certain... It's not a patent, it's just a, it's a, it's a tech. Hey, Hawkeye! Hi! I, you, you have come in time for me to sit here in despair. <laughs> Watch me sit here in despair as the, uh, this resource game is not going well. Um... Not as well as I would like, at least. They are, uh, they are not strictly required to run your base, but having them will allow you to run a much smoother operation. The tax panel shows all available tax on what they do. Except we don't actually have... ...the driller bot or constructor bot at know their patents. Gotta, gotta wait until an actual trader comes down. As opposed to other times you played this style of game. Ah, you know, uh, builder, builder games do, I guess, come with a certain degree of despair. That's possible. How many engineers do we have right now? We have five. Is, are these, those are biologists, damn you. These are engineers. We have five engineers. We have 30 people. And I've just built a rec room because I've just stopped caring about about the world. Sandstorm's coming. Okay, well, guess what we can do now? Yellow alert! I can now make it a yellow alert. Only gonna show me the control center. Get indoors, please. At least having the control center allows that. Oh, how's the grid looking? Not as awesome as it could be. I think right now it's just the windmills that are powering it up. As of what's happening right now. I guess that's one positive to a sandstorm. That is interesting. It was just using up a lot of that, though. Should I be concerned? I should probably be concerned. Not producing enough water at this moment. Could be because there's a sandstorm happening, not sure. Anyway. We're just going to stand here in this rec room. What do we want in here? A bench. An exercise bar. A drinking fountain. A decorative plant. There. We made things. Now Trent, who is hanging out in the rec center. Hmm. 
Not the multi dome. We're just getting in each other's ways right now, it looks like. Okay. You can cancel the yellow alert. I hope that helped. Good lord. No, people are just going to go there and hang out for no apparent reason. You're not going to use it. I have put this here for your morale. How's the grid looking now? It's doing better. It's filling back up. Okay. Ask what you have with you, trader. Nothing we can make of you. Raw materials. Oh. No. No, no, no. We're okay, I think, for raw materials. I mean, sure, we'll take some starch. And I, I mean, I've got to be careful about trading stuff away here. Here, you can have our coins. Buy a couple of starch off you for our for the pennies that we have collected from the other traders. There. When will this happen? We have the semiconductor. It's right there. <laughs> am, am I doing something wrong? Is something not happening? I've even prioritized this area. I have asked it to build a carrier bot. Maybe I should switch to infinite, and then it'll do it. Let's see if that does it. I shall sit here on my rocky promontory. And hope for the best. One of these, one of these days, I need to actually look and see where these print screen. I'm taking little, uh little photos every now and then, and I need to look and see where the photos end up. Because apparently it's it's taking the screenshots and putting them somewhere. But anyway. Yeah, we're okay there. So... Oh wait, now it's now it's happening. I set it to infinite. That's what it took. It had to decide that it, that it was getting infinite carrier bots. Now we just need someone to operate it. Now we're have now some now we're actually gonna have a have a robot happen. That's good. Um, also, while we're here, let me see if I can actually build this repair facility. I can't build the repair facility. Damn it! Because I need another. I need another one of these. 
Is there a way to access the... From here? No, probably not. Okay. So it's gonna... I think if I set it to zero, it's gonna finish the one that it's currently working on, I hope. Or at least it should. Or maybe it'll they'll just leave it there for eternity. Or, this is a thought. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have four carrier bots, right? If I set that to five... Huh? And you come back and you're working on it again. Now, now let me let me check to see if. Wait a minute. Are you now gonna stop working on it again if I set it to zero? You're not. Okay. Good. Maybe it doesn't work the way that I suddenly thought it was working. This whole thing confuses me. Because I just wanted them to make one. Let's have them make another semiconductor. Let's just switch it to infinite. How are we for spares right now? We'll probably need more soon. Don't want to whittle this down too much though right now. We're starting to get we're starting to get a decent number amount of bioplastic suddenly. Probably because I halted production on a bunch of things. Oh, you're gonna go eat. You're going to the bot workshop. Okay, I gotcha. They're working on it. You coming here to work on this? Good, excellent. Good, we needed that to happen. I think that uh, our next big purchases for traders that come down is uh, obviously, I mean, the one we're looking for is we want the constructor bot patent and the drill bot patent because apparently we do run out of these things. But, uh, and we also just need another constructor bot, which we're desperate enough now that we'll just build one. But if possible, I would like to get one of these patents. Is there in fact a way, I wonder, is there in fact a way to better guarantee that, that these things are going to show up? I don't know. It would be nice. If there were a way. I'm trying to like leave the game running while I'm uh, while I'm reading stuff. Um, nope. Nope. It's not telling me anything. Oh well. My hope right now is that we, uh, 
me make this work. Let me actually also... I reduced that to zero. Let me reduce that to zero as well. So that way... They'll just finish working on the ones that they're working on right now. I figured out that one, that much work. That much at least. Uh... The only other, um, wait a minute. The only other internal buildings we can pick up. There's a bar. We could, you know, if we want to really do more things for morale. And then the other option is to just build duplicates of existing things. Which, I mean, we've done that with this. I don't know if we suddenly want to just go completely nuts with uh, getting another dome or something. Um, getting another biodome. Just for the sake of having more and more foods available. Uh, ambient meals are going down, the number of meals. Interesting. Soon we're going to need more of these if we end up having more colonists. <sighs> Will this be ready? Will this be ready? So, yeah, this at this point is just... Do I have any other goals that I want to achieve here? <laughs> it's, it's just like, it's, it's... It's okay. Yeah, we're trying to just endlessly do the same stuff. Uh, I might be, uh... And I'm spinning my wheels a little bit at this. Once you get to a certain point. I didn't think I'd hit this point this quickly. Uh, let me see. What do you have? You're trading raw materials. You're not any robots. Get out! I'm only interested in robots right now! Do we want more starch? Do we want more ore? Our base stock is looking pretty good. No, I'm not gonna do any make any idle purchase decisions at this point, I don't think. We're also running out of spares. Maybe we need to make more spares. Yeah, no, we're fine. Thank you. Thank you. Oh boy. Let me finish making this freaking bot. If we, uh... If we were to make a spaceport... Starport. Uh... Small and large ships of any kind. New colonists and visitors will only come to the base if your war welfare level is high enough. Welfare and prestige levels determine how often and how many new colonists and visitors will arrive to your base. Do we need more prestige? We might. Visitors are people that are not living in the colony. They will typically come to the base, use services, and pay for them with coins. You only arrive through the starport, and only if the colony has enough prestige. I mean... I guess that'll help us with traders. Oh, 
coins. Universal cryptographic currency. Oh no. No, no, no. Well, I have to stop playing this now. Crypto. Yeah. You can use them to buy goods from traders. You can obtain coins by selling products to various traders or by providing services to visitors. What is this? We already know about that. Colonists or visitor ships once your colony has reached a certain prestige. What is our... How do we figure out the prestige thing? I'm just, I'm looking at these so that I can perhaps Find out more. Oh, you can go to self repair. I mean, I'd like to make one of those. That's why I'm, why I'm trying to make more chips. Hang on. Uh, there was something I was looking for. It's left my brain now. Prestige. I'm trying to kind of pin down here. What's our current prestige level? Our status is excellent. Our welfare is excellent, it says. Prestige is 67 out of 1,000. Where do you get more of that? It's Glenn 1. Um, where does one get more of that? I'm trying to figure out. I know I can get more by building a sign, but... Uh... Base management stats. Prestige. This is a measure of the reputation of the colony. It's calculated based on population, resources, prestige buildings, and other factors. Ah! Okay. The higher this is, the more frequently new colonists and visitor ships arrive. This can also increase the chance of intruders trying to take over the base. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, planet base. Prestige building. Now, once you hit 75, that's when intruders show up. That's great. Building a sign will give you five. Prerequisite for building a pyramid. Pyramid gets you 30. Building it's requisite for building a monolith. A monolith will gain you 60. Okay. Each colonist or bot adds one prestige. One point for every three resource items of any kind. Coins do not count. When a distress signal is detected, the notification can be opened to show the details of the distress call, including how much prestige will be rewarded. Reach satisfied visitor. Note that some ships will offer coins instead of prestige. Interesting! So that's a thing. Okay. Well then. There are a few things we can do for that. Um, and that actually then has to do with the, what is that? Uh, the control center, right? Uh, 
the radio antenna. Function has to be someone operating it. Every radio antenna you build increases the probability of transmission interception. Um. A worker can operate a radio antenna. When a communication is intercepted, you can choose to, to allow the calling ship to land in your base. The structure is remotely operated from the radio console and the control center. This means for it to function, there has to be someone operating it at any given point in time. Every radio antenna you build increases the possibility of transmission intercept. Okay. I understand now. I mean, why not? If these are the things we are doing. Um, so actually, 67, we're not very far off from being able to attract intruders, which is a little terrifying. But, you know, may as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save before we reach this point, because... Once we reach this point, okay, that that's been built. That that bot is carrying it. Good, excellent. Um, here's what I want to make it into. I want to make it into the 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 auto repair for bots. That'll help. Okay, uh, we do need a few more spares. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the spare construction back on. Because we've got now like 15 of these things, so I can I think we can afford to. Um, I'm just gonna set it back to infinite. We, we'll, we'll we'll make that work. Um, so it'll start making spares again. Um, good. Okay. External things. An anti meteor laser. A signpost, a radio antenna, a starport. A starport takes 10, but we could actually just go ahead and freaking build one. Not there. <laughs> we build one right way out there if we wanted to. Where do we want the starport to be? I mean, I better not put it out here because I don't want to block the only way for us to uh, actually make that happen. Um, So distant. But, I mean, it's pretty far out, but at the same time, let's think about it. I don't think it's going to fit if we put it here. I don't want to take that away. I don't want to. I don't want to undo that. To make this happen. Same time though. Yeah. At the same time though, it'd be good to have the ability for this to happen. Okay. Here's the thought. Because I might be trying to just get a thing out to here. Hmm. Can pads be turned into other things? Base pad. Can base pads be turned into other things? Um. It doesn't say. Landing pad. Line post. There are a lot of things we were we were hoping for. Um I mean there's more reason to build also in this direction too. Um a lot of the outside infrastructure is. So I guess 
I was thinking about trying to put it like here or something, but then I need to actually have more stuff back here. This is the only thing. Gonna throw a bar down, are we? Kind of, this is where I wanted to put it. Um, I have my reasons. <laughs> gonna be that's gonna be ridiculous <laughs> okay yeah I think I'm just gonna put it yeah go ahead and just freaking do this because this is going to I can see now that this is one of those forever situations I'm just gonna put it there we're gonna put it nice and far away There. Building a starport. And poor engineers are going to have to run all over the place. Um, part of the reason why I'm building a starport is just so that we can have um, more of a chance of some somebody with the right patents to show up. Okay. Uh, I can actually... I can deprioritize this robotics facility. The bar has been built. I can't, part of me wanted this to be closer to the entrance, but actually it's probably fine that it's that far away. <laughs> Needed to do something weird to like put it down here or something. Got folks just sort of kind of waiting to carry all that, uh, all that, uh, all that, uh, all that metal out there. <laughs> Not a T building, is it? No, thank goodness. Okay. Anything I want to put in there? You can put. Uh, standing tables, video screens, drinking fountains, bar tables, and a drinks machine. We're going to put a, a drinks machine, obviously. Table, standing table, video screen. Okay. Yeah, the video screen would just be something on the wall. Let's let's not let's not do too much there. Let's not put a TV in there just yet. This should be a social area. The starport has been built, heavens help us. Okay. So, in theory, let me actually look at the grid again before I turn that back on. 
Oh, I see power is doing great. That is a big ship landing. All right, what have we got? Ah, see, this is good. Cosmos Industrial Representative. So what do we have? We have Goliath Turbine Patent. We have Farm Dome Patent. Ooh. I need to find out what that is. Mega Collector Patent. Okay. So, yeah, Mega Collector, I assume, is a really big energy collector. The last turbine is, I assume, a really, really big turbine. Farm dome. Let me find out what a farm dome is. I mean, I'm not going to buy it, but uh, out of curiosity, if I were to give them all of this, if I were to give you everything, I would just have... Good lord. Yeah, I can't do it, but it, it's it's an interesting idea. I would be really hamstringing myself to get any of these patents right now. I am seeing that. We do not have nearly enough of value to make this work. Oh god, it's going to be such, such a slow crawl. And I know, you could speed up the... And yes, I do hear the, the, the voice in my head telling me you could just speed the game up, Jim, and then just slowly build up resources. And I understand, I, I hear you saying that. Um, <laughs> there are too many things that have to be done in the meantime. Wow. So much. These guns might come in handy, although. They're 80 apiece. I'd really rather spend the money on a I'd rather spend the stock on a, on a constructor bot. <sighs> I don't think I can get any of this right now, which sucks because these seem to be nice things. I am disappointed. Um, mm. Yeah, because we're going to have to make more things. Good God. This is going to be such a grind. All right. Let me see. I mean, I don't mind certain kinds of grinds, but at the same time... I don't know what's happening here. So... I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think here. I don't really have anything I want to sell them. I kind of just want to hoard my goods. And like, more guns might be nice. I can make my own, but I'm at a point right now where it would be, uh, It would be a lot less, lot less expensive for me to make my own. I'm gonna have to turn them away. That was interesting. What are we looking at here? What is the situation with the power? We're using more power than we are putting out. Since we built that thing. Oh, okay, well that explains it. That explains a great deal. Okay. And of course the drinks machine is really what's going to do it. So they turn vegetables into alcohol, which is great because we seem to have a surplus of vegetables at the moment. Let me uh, let me build another uh, antenna and a solar panel out here. What, what you doing? Oh, spares. Yeah, we're gonna need more spares. Good thing that those are actually being built. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Uh, 
Mm. Point is, we're gonna point a, a, a control a, a solar panel at this rock. How many? How much? How much iron are we? Uh, are we gonna sacrifice? I can go for a medium one. Put it there. There. Yes, yeah, so let's build it when it's when night's coming on. That I'm sure won't cause any problems. This base now also is big enough for more people. Um need more oxygen soon, but I'm going to go ahead and, uh, we're going to start letting colonists back in, heavens help us. Um, what do we need more of? We, I'm going to balance this out just a bit. I'm going to turn colonists back on. Visitors? No, no visitors. Because visitors could mean, I mean, colonists could mean that too. We'll turn on visitors. Why not? Um, but, yeah, let's do more of an even spread right now among those. There. So that any number of beings could show up. More likely workers, biologists, and engineers. I will tell you what. Yeah, that looks like a decent enough spread, I think. Probably be getting engineers. Which is fine, because we're going to need more. Because we don't have a constructor bot. I am so sad. They are they're having alcoholic drinks. Which is probably going to make them sleepy. We are now allowing visitors. That's slightly scary. How's our power grid looking? Not great. You gotta wait for this, uh... Gotta wait for this big-ass solar panel to be built. What are you doing? Carrying vitro meat to the meal maker. Makes sense. Well, at least they're using the uh, the pub here. That's something. Is it increasing their happiness? Remember, happiness is mandatory. Up. Uh, this is a big colony ship. Going up. What have we got? Okay, we have medic, biologist, hang on, medic, biologist. Oh, I think we have two medics and two biologists. Okay. Interesting. Let's change the spread again. That was... That was much medic. There. A little better.
Ah, okay. They built that. See how this is looking. Okay, that's much better. That'll fill up probably pretty quickly, I hope. Uh, let's see. What else? Oh, yes, we were thinking about doing that as well. Um, getting a, uh... Going ahead and building the radio tower. Or whatever it's called. Satellite? Radio antenna. I don't want to build it right here because that would be a mistake. Big or small. Oh. And I saw a spot. I saw a spot. Would have worked. Would have been so good to be able to do that. I cannot. Alas. Oh, okay. You put that there. That'll work. Makes sense. We can do that. First of all, so I have to create. Kind of hanging out. Yeah, the factory is not doing a lot right now. Um, we should probably soon make more, make more semiconductors and guns, since we can have visitors now. What's our situation with? Uh, what do we have? We have five guards. Three of them are armed. We have seven biologists. 13 workers, 5 engineers, no visitors right now. Hmm. Okay. I will, uh... I will authorize the creation of semiconductors. and guns for now. <laughs> and then we shall see what happens. <laughs> A lot very slowly. <laughs> what will happen is that everything will get eaten up. Uh, resources will just get eaten up instantly. I know what happened, how this works. Um, yeah. They just... Carry the steel to these machines. More colonists. Uh, quick question. Oh no, two ships simultaneously. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I need to, uh... Oh dear, no, this is, this is four engineers. Okay, um... We need more air! Let's, uh, let's get on that and hope for the best. What do you have? Oh, you have that turbine patent, right? Yeah, the Goliath turbine. We're kind of holding out for, for, uh, Something a bit more robotic, but you do have a robot. Let's see what you have. What do you have? You have a driller bot. Ooh. It'd help us to get ore faster. I think I'm gonna I'm thinking I'm gonna try to buy it. We'll see how this goes. 35% commission. This is as cheap as we're gonna be able to get it. Okay. Well let's see if we can do this without hamstringing ourselves. That's the base value. Want some vegetables? Want some meat? Yeah. Not gonna trade away metal or plastic, it's too valuable right now. Okay. 
Okay. That'll get us there. We're, we're about to acquire a driller bot. I have no idea what this will do, but I would like to... I would like to imagine it'll make it so that we can get more ore. I hope that'll help us. I don't know if it will. We'll find out. Uh, and let's fill in the rest with coins. Have a few coins for this trade. Now go to carry things out. Okay. Can I uh, stop more colonists from showing up? Uh, until we... Yeah, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Let's, uh, let's stop colonists and traders for a moment while we, uh, while we wait to, uh... While we wait to have our, our next oxygen... Oxygen generator built! That'll kinda help. We're about to have more people than what we have. Ah! I guess we need more water, too. Oh, that's not looking good. Yeah, okay. We're gonna... Everyone's gonna get very thirsty very soon. Um... Where our reservoir is uh, going down. Let me see... Yes. Airlock. Yes. Um... Water extractor. We need another water extractor. We have two things free, so we could make one. We just have to wait for um radio antenna. Do I actually have the thing that monitors the? I do not. I should build one of those. I forget. Um, but I can't, because we're about to run out of water. So I need to build a, uh, I need to build a water extractor to prevent that from happening. Could build it, like, out there. Ah, wait! We have a driller bot! This is the first time we've ever had one of these. Fascinating. Okay. I kind of want to wait until we have, um... This is not good. This is not good at all. How soon will we have more metal? I might to kind of wait until we have more metal because I want to have... I want to have... Uh, I want to build a large water collector. Um, Everything is getting low. This is not good. Ah, I see there's no wind currently, and so that's that's causing power problems. Yeah, okay, here, let me uh let me turn off some things. Um Let me turn off non critical things. Yeah. Is there anyone in here right now? Nope. Okay, great. I'm going to turn off the bar. I'm going to turn off the rec room.
Oh, this is not good. This is not good. We did too much. We flew too close to the sun. Um. Yeah, I think we need to uh, need to shut some things down for a bit. Airlock is low on oxygen. Everybody's gonna die. Um. Here, let me. Oxygen consumption exceeds production. Storage is low on oxygen. Um, I think everyone's gonna die in a minute. Um, that's that's not good. But the sun's coming up. Maybe that will help. Okay, power's coming back. So that's something. Um. Let me see if, uh, now that the power is back up, storage is low on oxygen. Um, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Really, we, we, generators are producing oxygen for approximately 60, it says. Water is starting to come back. That's good. Um, who oh boy. Okay. Structures are low on oxygen. Why are they low on oxygen? Because, probably because the water generator wasn't producing enough water for it. So let's fix that now. Okay. <laughs> That's, that's a thing we desperately need. I have temporarily stopped these things because We, uh, we really need to, um, <laughs> our food stocks are low. Well, we were having more people show up. That That's, that's another problem. Okay. Well, one thing at a time. Out of curiosity, I don't think we can... And I don't think there's anywhere we can reasonably place another meal maker. We have to actually build another canteen for this to work. Okay. I don't think it's that the food stocks are low. Necessarily. We want might want more. I think that all the spaces are taken up. Well, not necessarily. There's one more space. Um, do we want do we want more starch or do we want something else? Okay, the water extractor has been built. If we can get that working. That'll be great. Okay. Now. Reservoir is starting to fill. That's good. Um, we're very good on power at the moment. Our power reserves are good. We might need more. Um, and I'll turn these back on. Okay, we'll we'll turn sick bay back on. <laughs> Cause that's essential. Slowly start turning things back on. Is 
this drill bot doing? Just hanging out. It's going to get repaired. Okay. That's good. I'm glad we have this repair facility. Um, oh boy. Okay. Wow. This is so much. Um... Right. What was happening? I don't know. Oh, you're getting you're using spares to repair things. That's good. We're getting low on spares. Okay, fine. Turn the factory back on. Um we can at least finish what they've got going on out there. So that being the case. Ugh. What is our situation? We're getting low on a lot. What do we mostly have in here? Okay. Things that we've made. Um, running low on vegetables and meats. Okay. What if I want to make another meat machine? I can do that. In fact, you know what we may as well do? Is just make a third and just do that. There we go. More tissue synthesizers. Those just make meat out of nothing, apparently. Just prints meat. And the meal makers are running low. So there is a question of, um, yes. I would like to move this drinking fountain. What do I need to do to make another meal, meal maker? Let me check. What, what does it require? Does it require metal, I think? No, it does not. Okay, good. And if I want a drinking fountain, what does that require? That require does not require metal. Okay. So. I'm going to remove this drinking fountain. I'm going to recycle it. And. I'm going to put another meal maker there. And I'm going to put the drinking fountain there. Okay. So, that's, that's the first part of this. Um, we need more, we need more of everything. I'm going to put another pee pad down, I think. Um, it's a vegetable. Unless we want another medical pad. We do want another medical pad, but, um... I don't need the veggies. Alright. Now oh, you know what. Yes. Okay, fine. Because I think we actually do need to build another biodome. Okay. Wow. Trying to get everything back under control here. We've not been able to use the radio antenna as of yet. Our prestige went down. <laughs> just, just hitting that sweet spot. I mean, we're only allowing traders to visit right now, so... If we reactivate these... What will that do to our grid? 
theory we should be okay. You know, this, this one uses up a lot. These landing pads use up a lot of like a lot of juice, a lot of electricity. Um Priorities. Uh your biodome. That's the next priority. We want to keep everyone alive. It would help. We need more vegetables. And, and our food stocks are low, so that tells me something. So I can make a small one out here. For two. For five, I can make another one out here, but that's... Yeah, I can't afford that. Um, I'll do a small one. Sort of eek by. And then we'll put more food out here. And hopefully that'll mean we have more food. How many biologists again do we have? Just out of curiosity. Seven. Well, guess what? <laughs> okay. That's making chicken. That's making beef. And uh, this one we're going to actually assign to pork. So that we have one of each. This is making spares. This is making guns. This is making semiconductors. Gotta wait for the engineers to get out here so they can they can build this. Ugh. You know? How's the power looking? Well, it's daytime. We can have these on during the day. Workers carrying things out. Oh, you're unhappy. I'm sorry. I turned the facilities back on. Probably put another airlock out here somewhere <laughs> when I get a chance. Ugh. Okay, water is full. We need to make another water tank. I don't think we have the facilities to make one, but it would be nice. Expansion. We did get new colonists to the base. Okay. We're gonna need... How much do we need for a new water tank? Probably need a new processing plant. One, or a small one. That is a medium one. All right now we only have traders coming in, right? Yes, okay, good. Don't want more people to feed yet. We have to figure out our food situation. What do you have? I don't think we'll be able to afford anything, but we'll see. 
General Goods. Arid Peterson. Uh, Mega Collector. You have two driller bots. You have a constructor bot. We really need a constructor bot right now. Uh, 256 coins. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Hang on. I'm going to save the game. Oh, uh -huh, boy. We have a lot of things we, we could use. Use some of this meat too right now. Well, it's time to hope no one gets gets ill. We're 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 reaching. We're desperate. If we give away all of our spares and all of our medical supplies and three of our bioplastic, we can get another constructor bot. Uh, I hate this. I hate this so much. The 56. We don't have enough coins. All right. There. A constructor bot. Make the trade. Good news, Myrna! <laughs> Before you die of hunger. Which I hope you don't. Soon you'll have help doing this. We carry out everything we own. How many guns do we have right now? None, but four of our uh, guards are armed. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna reduce the uh, I'm gonna set since we already have uh, one gun being worked on. I'm gonna put guns to zero. I'll keep making semiconductors and spares, which we need desperately now. But they'll finish making that gun. Then we can uh, have all of our, all five of our guards armed. Do we have more guards than that, or am I just making that up in my head? I was confusing myself. If nine engineers, okay. I would very much like if we could build another. Yeah, actually, metal is getting used up for all of these things. So um, let me let me just um, let me just halt production on everything, or rather, set production on everything to zero, other than medical supplies. Yeah. Now, of course, will also be when the trader lands who has the patent that we need. Never to land again. Please get, uh, uh, please get help. Medical help. Yeah. Where you're headed. Good. Are we losing power? I think we're okay. Still. Let's not tempt fate. Hmm. 
Uh, we need the auto repair going. Um. I'm gonna disable some places. We have a biodome. Constructor bot. Awesome. We need to make more food. Let me uh, let me check something actually. Charts when to monitor the evolution of your food stocks. When your people go hungry, it might be too late. Yes, but what does it mean? <laughs> Out of spares. Yes, I know. Food stocks are low. What? What a surprise. Okay, we need to, uh... need to create more... footage here. Tomatoes and lettuce. These are things that are only going to be used as food. Which is, I think, what I'm going to do with this dome. Onions, radishes, I want to make starches. No, no, nothing starchy in here. Oh, onions also, which have just a standard, I think. Yeah, okay. Things that can only be used to make food and cannot be used to make things. to get brought in. Alright. Out of medical supplies, eh? I am shocked. Shocked. But hopefully this this will help us to actually produce more food and therefore not die. One hopes. Second canteen might be helpful. Yeah. Okay. So now that now that we've hit that point, heaven help us, and you're building your final. Semiconductor and the, the final gun has been built. All of our guards should now be armed. In theory. We have so little in our stores. This is super. Yeah, all of our guards have guns now. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be great. Alright. We're going to save here as we hit a point where we might we might perhaps finally be reaching a, a place where um, things will be okay. Let's 
turn that on so they can taunt us. I take one more screenshot. And, uh, then I think we're... Then I think we're gonna be... We're gonna... We're gonna exit now. Because it's been two and a half hours and I need to stop. Okay. So. We are hitting a point of, uh, of frustration with this game. <laughs> I, uh... I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know if I actually if I absolutely want to abandon it at this point, but I kind of think I need to pull back a bit. <laughs> because this is very much now becoming a game of bang your head against the wall. <laughs> As you eke out each tiniest thing. And uh that's that's a little frustrating. So it's kind of riding an edge for me right now, you know? I am enjoying the the good parts are I, I I'm really enjoying you know I'm really I'm really liking the uh, the idea of building the things and then seeing you know when you build new things what happens I have I never even put in a freaking I never put in that freaking console to uh to to actually use the radio tower we built <laughs> I just realized because we were trying to get prestige and then I was just like no nope, no nope, screw that we got to survive and these things just sort of pop up and it's like okay. So yeah, I need think I need to pull back from this for a bit. I don't I, I, I don't know when I'm gonna come back to it. Um I might do it soon, I don't know. Maybe a random whim. But I, I definitely need to start throwing other games in here because I'm gonna lose it. So I'll figure something out and uh, we'll know we'll know soon what happens there. Um thank you all very much for your patience in watching this. <laughs> watching me struggle through this. Um it's a very cool, very interesting game, but it's just the frustrating. The frustrating parts are really frustrating, as it turns out. Um, but I did really want to. I, I, I'm glad that I've I've been, I've had an opportunity to play it, and uh, again, I may come back to it. We'll see. Uh, but what do we have happening here? I don't know. I really, I really just don't know. But uh, I think that. Uh, that uh, on this channel, what what day is it? It is Thursday. So the next thing that is happening scheduled is going to be on Wednesday when we have what might be the finale of our Dune game, quite possibly. Um, we'll see. Uh, so that'll be fun um, uh, when uh, that is the game of Dune Adventures in the Imperium that Brian is running for us. Uh, we will have, uh, I think, next week also that Thursday. We're going back to, uh, hopefully, hopefully Luchi will be back and we'll be uh, playing, once again, going back to playing text adventures, working our way towards the end of Zork 2. Um, so that'll be fun. And uh, then I think toward the end of next week, maybe when we start seeing Don't Rest Your Head again. Um, I'm going to be, again, running two games of that a week on here. Two different groups, but things are happening at the same time. And so that'll be fun. Um, very much looking forward to getting back into that as we then superpowered Insomniac to the City of Nightmares. So I think that'll be very cool. We also have Electric Bastion Land coming up. Um, that's a uh, going to be a short campaign run by Sarah. Uh, do, we don't have the dates yet. We're still we're right now we're in the process of casting, but we're almost there, almost there. So that'll be happening sometime uh, mid to late February. So look forward to that, as I certainly do. Thank you all very much for watching. I very much appreciate it. I am going to uh, go fall over for a while. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you all of a sudden.